So recently, I have come to a place in my life where I, I am really wanting to take larger steps in my faith to know God more. As I take my faith more and more seriously, I feel my family doesn't support me in any part of it. As if the sacrifices I'm making are silly. What do I do to not have resentment towards them because of this? Well, first of all, I just want to say that you are in good company because um, John chapter 7 verse 5 tells us that not even Jesus' brothers believed in him. And um, mm. so, so Jesus, you know, P- Jesus' own family, yeah. you know, they, they ridiculed him. They, they didn't believe in him. They didn't believe who, who he was. Thankfully, we do know that some of them did come to know Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior because Acts chapter 1 verse 14 tells us that um, some of his brothers and his mother were in the upper room after Jesus had ascended to heaven and they were praying and seeking seeking Jesus, which is so cool. We also know that Jesus' half-brother James wrote the book of James and um, and he calls him Lord Lord and Savior within the book of James. So we know that that some of his family did acknowledge and realize we missed it. Mm. We missed it. Yeah. Um, so I just want to say you are in good company. The truth is your family desperately needs an encounter with Jesus. That mm. that is the bottom line. They need an encounter. They need to know um, grace and forgiveness and mercy like you've experienced. Um, John 15, another, uh, another chapter that talks about how Jesus was hated. So if my thought was, if Jesus was hated, then we can be sure that there will be times in our life that will be hated for, for mm-hmm. following him. Uh, Luke 6 verses 22 and 23 say, blessed are you when people hate you and when they exclude you and revile you and spurn your name as evil on account of the son of man. Listen to this. This is what I want you to hear. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven, for so their fathers did to the prophets. So the fact that that you're in a sense being kind of ridiculed, your family thinks you're silly, um, maybe they're they're excluding you and, and, and I don't know what else they're doing to you, but to me, this is just evidence that you are his, that, that you don't belong to this world. It really pairs you with Jesus. Mm. Um, So instead of allowing company, you're in good company. Yeah, exactly. So instead of allowing resentment to creep in, like that verse says, rejoice that you have been paired with Jesus. Rejoice that people have seen that you are Jesus's. Mm. Um, And then what I would do honestly is, is pray boldly for your family's salvation and love them extravagantly. Even even if they think you're silly, um, it doesn't even matter because you belong to Jesus. So what they say about you, throw it out the window. Mm. It doesn't matter. You need to stand on what God says about you. You need to know that you are his first and foremost. And yeah, not allow that resentment to creep in. Um, instead, rejoice. Um, rejoice that you've been paired with Jesus. You're in good company. Oh, that's really good. That's, that's really good. I, I was thinking too, as you were mentioning that, mm-hmm. one thing you mentioned was that your family really needs an an encounter with Jesus. Yeah, right. So uh, I was just, I I just had the thought, one of the ways that your family may encounter Jesus is by watching you take bold steps of faith. Yeah, definitely. So in in fact, they they really, they didn't even realize this. They didn't sign up for this, but now they have front row seats Mm -hmm. to watch what a a life of faith looks like. Yeah, you They've seen it in coworkers and neighbors and maybe some other friends but they've maybe never seen someone from their own family do this. Mm. So they may mock you, they may cause problems right now, but most likely they're listening and paying yeah. attention way more than you think oh, they are. Definitely, definitely. And and that's why loving them extravagantly comes into play because yeah. they're watching you, they're listening, and you just never know the day when they go, okay, no matter what we do, their eyes are on Jesus, they have not turned. They've only gone deeper mm. um, in their faith and in their love for him. So what's different and what am I missing out on? They're going to see that they're missing out on the peace and the hope and the joy that you have. <laughs>